the crazy bag lady, Tina, here in the Museum of Vintage Bags and in my second story on coach. So what did you see just now? These little treasures, bits and pieces of tiny leaflets and papers. I've been keeping them for a very, very long time. So let's get a bit closer and see what they tell us. This is a mini brochure, coach handbags. Look at them. Each of these are now collector's pieces. Here we see what I spoke about in the first coach video, the watermelon kiss lock purse section. It's here again, a signature of Bonnie Cass and coach pieces. What do we have after this here? A picture of the factory, 40 years from when it was incorporated, coach is a company, I think in 1941. And what does it say here? It says coach bags, belts, and billfords are made in a single factory located in the heart of New York City. In the almost 40 years since it was established, this factory has grown from a small workshop employing six people to one of the largest and best known leather goods manufacturing facilities in the country. And today I believe coach employs in thousands of people in different parts of the world. This one here says a few tips on how to clean your coach bag. And this piece here, what does it say? Let me read. It says, coach bags are classic leather bags designed and constructed to survive well beyond a single season. They are always in style, don't ever seem to wear out, and under normal conditions can be worn and enjoyed for many years. And I've enjoyed a lot of my coach bags for many, many, many years. Now, the last paragraph is important because we'll talk about this. Coach bags are identified at the factory with an individual registration number. This number is branded right into the leather on an inside pocket so that even years later, each bag can be traced back to its original job ticket. This talks about the coach creed that is found in handbags. And so let's look at this now, specific to what it reads. This green number, firstly, hand tag, something again, signature to coach. This bag does not have a creed in it. All it has is the coach label embossed into the leather. This tells me the bag is probably 1960-ish to the early 1970s because the creeds only appeared in the mid-1970s. This red number, fire engine red, here again, hang tag, it's a mint piece. This has the creed on the inside of it, embossed into the leather pouch. And what does it say? It says, this is a coach bag. It's made out of cowhide, sorry, it's made out of complete natural glove tanned cowhide. The scars, scratches, veins, and wrinkles are natural markings characteristic of fine grained leathers made in New York City, USA. And the creed number says 2267530. This creed is interesting because it hybrids two styles. Firstly, creeds that were in bags in the early 1970s never had serial numbers to it. Creeds that had serial numbers in it were then bags of the later 1970s, early 1980s. So this merges both. So I can't say exactly when this bag was made, but we could say mid-1970s, probably towards the later 1970s. Now going forward a bit, what else is there about coach? We all know Color was used a lot by Bonnie Casson, and these are my two favorite vermilion orange colored bag. And coming down to this number here, it is a small purse. It can be used as a sling or as a hip pouch. And all it has inside it is enough space for you to put money, credit cards, maybe a little compact, maybe a tiny mobile phone, they're not so tiny anymore, and maybe a lipstick. That's all it did. And for me, it was enough to carry my essentials when I traveled. And so I have this number in black, blue, brown, in a lighter shade of brown, and in this red. So here ends my story on Coach. And I hope that sharing a bit of Coach 1, Coach 2, and the Bonnie Casson story will make you go out and hunt down your vintage Coach bags. And believe me, in buying them, you will enjoy it for a long, long time to come. So please subscribe to us, comment on our channel, like us. It's Tina here at Strange But Cool, and I'll see you in our next video. Bye-bye.